Handballstage. He has burned me. He's made me eat cigarettes. He's punched me multiple times. He pushed me out of the car while it was moving. He has he's bit me. He's pulled my hair. He's cut my hair. He tied me up for about 30 minutes. He beat me nonstop. He used an extension cord. Get your ass out of my chair. So why are you doing this to your child's mother? She lied to me. So you want to hit my little sister? You want a hog tire? Somebody give me some rope. You made her feel pain. You burned her with cigarettes. I'm not doing it anymore. When is the last time you put your hands on your wife? Last week. About four days ago, to be exact. I put you. you That's it. I didn't punch you or nothing. Like, you came on the show about cheating, and that's the least of your concerns. I've been with my husband for 21 years. Most of your marriage, he's accusing you of cheating. Yes. And he had me in a corner in the kitchen, and he's fighting me, punching me, kicking me, you know. And for you know it, I stabbed him. Oh, you stabbed him in the chest? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you stop abusing yeah. her, because You're building me now. Burn my face. She hit me with a baseball bat, man. Come on here. Oh, you got me this way. I wasn't oh, I got that you this way. You would like that already. Oh, Regina, you came out on the show to save your marriage with the lie detector test. You got it, Kev. The kid's coming with me. The results are that you... I'm here because I believe my husband's cheating. He gets mad every time I ask to look at his phone. He's always on this chat room line. He's always, all the time, calling me fat, I'm ugly. He hates everything about me. He don't want to see me. He's never around us or his daughter. He's very abusive and mean. He has burned me. He's made me eat cigarettes. He's punched me multiple times. He pushed me out of the car while it was moving. He has he's bit me. He's pulled my hair. He's cut my hair. He's chipped my tooth. He has uh, gave me black eyes. He's swollen my lips. He's cut my lips. He tied me like hog tied me with my hands and my legs tied back behind my back. And I was on the ground on my stomach. He used an extension cord. He tied me up for about 30 minutes. He beat me nonstop for 30 minutes, a good at least. And it made me feel like crap. It made me feel like I'm just a piece of garbage, like you throw it away. That's how I feel every single day. I'm so used to it and immune to it. It's like, I don't really care if he does it anymore. I need to find out if my husband's cheating on me. I just want to know the truth and have closure in my heart. Richard, that's your uh, wife on the tape? Yes. Any of that true at all? Yeah, it is. OK. So before we go any further, get your ass out of my chair. <laughs> Now, what I don't understand is, this is your wife. Uh, you have children? Yes. Um, this is the mother of your children. And I'm just going to reiterate what she said on that tape, that you call her fat and ugly. And like that's like the nice thing that you did for her, compared to the rest of the stuff. You tell her that you regret getting married and having a child with her. You tell her you're going to sleep with other women in front of her. You burn her with cigarettes. Um, you make her eat the cigarettes, push her out of a car. This is the one that's really disturbing. You hogtied her in front of your child. Um, you bit her, dragged her, you hit her, you cut her hair. What could possibly your wife do that would cause you to act like this? She lied to me. She lied to me a lot, you know? What did she lie about? She, when she was pregnant, she smoked a lot like a pack of cigarettes a day. And I don't want that for the baby. That can hurt the baby. I can understand that. Yeah, you know? And she's still, I was like, don't, don't smoke. I don't want you to smoke, you know, until you, get, you have the baby. And after that, you can't smoke, you know? So she was OK. I won't, you know? Then one day, I went to work and come back home. And she was smoking, you know? I saw her. And she was running to the, to the house. And I was like, what's she running? You know, I went inside, and I gave her a hug and kiss. And I could smell the smoke of the cigarette. And I was like, you were smoking? She was like, no, I wasn't. And I was, you put that on the baby. She was, yes, I put that on the baby. And I got more mad because I, I was like, well, how are you going to put that on the baby when I, can, when I can taste, I mean, smell that you were smoking, you know? She was, no, I was, I put that in my life. I put that in anything. I was like, I put that on God. I was, don't do that. I was, don't do that. If you're lying, just tell me the truth, you know? Why'd you stay with her then? Because I feel sorry for her. I know her, her family. And they treat her like a, like a, Bad, you know. Like they couldn't treat her any worse than what you're doing. Are they making her eat cigarettes? 
No. Are they hog tying her? No. I mean, you, you have this smirk on your face, and this is what murderers do. This is what rapists do. And you're doing it to your wife, the mother of your children. I was. You was? I was. If she had you locked up, and you went to court and went before a judge, you could be doing 20, 30 years for doing this stuff. Can you imagine? You got, what do you got, little girl, little boy? Little girl. Little girl. You yeah. want somebody else raising your child? That no. would be my biggest nightmare in the world, somebody else raising my child. Hell no. Hell no, right? Mm -mm. So why are you doing this to your child's mother? I'm not doing it no more. You're not doing it anymore? How can you stand there with a little smirk on your face and say you ever did it? I mean, I'm going to tell the truth, yes, I did, you know? And I tell I was so sorry about that, you know? I'm and sorry. I'm sorry I hogtied you in front of our child. No, I, I, I was like, I'm so sorry. I Why was did crying. you do it in front of the child? That's really disturbing. No, the baby, it was in the room. You know, we was in the living room. You hogtied your wife with an electrical cord. What did she do there? Was that because of a lie? Yeah. You took a lie detector test, right? Yeah, I did. And if you fail it, I get to hogtie you on my stage? Yeah. Maybe I'll go get one of my cigars and put them on on you. No. And maybe I'll make you eat it after I burn you. But no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that because you know what? I'm not an animal. But what I would do is I'd put your ass in handcuffs and drag you off to jail. Sister, you want a hog tire? Somebody give me some rope. You made her feel pain. You burned her with cigarettes. It's fighting me, punching me, kicking me, you know. And for you know it, I stabbed him. Oh, you stabbed him in the chest? Yeah. Yeah. Would you ever tie up your little girl like that? No, hell no. Can you imagine her growing up someday and somebody doing that to her? I'll, I'll kill him. Right? Yeah. Right, you kill him. Uh huh. But you did that to somebody's daughter. Yeah. Why are you here today? To prove my wife that I'm not cheating on her. And who cares? I don't. <laughs> I, I mean, you, you know, I, may, I hope you are. Maybe she'll leave you. I told her before, I was like, I don't want to be and like... And you're staying with her because you feel sorry for her. And I love her. Huh. <laughs> I'm going to talk to your wife. I want you off my stage when I talk to her. <laughs> Here's uh, Richard's uh, wife, Chelsea. How you doing, Chelsea? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. You know why I'm great? No. Because I go home. I got nobody abusing me. I got nobody doing bad things to me. I have a house of peace and love in my mm -hmm. house. Everybody respects each other. Everybody loves each other. And I read this, and I, I, I got to say, I'm shocked. I mean, I cover a lot of things on my show, incredible cases of, of abuse, seen it as a policeman, just horrible, horrible crimes. And I wonder how you could possibly be standing on my stage, still considering to be with a guy that, you know, again, I could say it over and over again, and every time I say it, I, I find myself getting more mad. Calls you fat and ugly? Mm -hmm. That's stupid. Who cares? You're not, you're not a fat, ugly. You're a beautiful woman. Every person is beautiful. Um, uh, no. He regrets getting married to you, he's sleeping with other women. Who cares? I don't. I'm sure on some level you care, but I'm sure it hurts more when he's burning you with a cigarette. Yes. I'm sure it hurts more when he's making you eat the cigarette. Well, it actually hurts more, more when he actually mentally abuses me. Mentally abuses yes. you. But he's taking, he's burning your flesh. Right. That's got to hurt. Yes, sir, it does. Um, in, in my book, that's called torture. Yes. When you burn somebody. Um, pushed you out of a car. Yes. He hogtied you with your child. In, in the living room on the couch, asleep. She why was did he, why did he hogtie you? Because he got mad. Yeah, I would assume stupid. he didn't do it out of love. 
about something stupid. What was? I know. What was? What could have possibly? You know, honestly, be? I can't even remember because we fought over something stupid. He hard you. You don't even know what it was about. Because he does so much stuff that I don't even remember anymore. And listen, I'm not. I don't want you to confuse. I'm not angry with you. I understand. I understand. I'm angry that a human being tied you up. Yes. That's what I'm mad about. <laughs> Let's see. So. I guess this is the craziest question I'm ever going to ask on the show. Why are you here? Well, how come I'm not walking you back and, and saying you dial 911? I'm here because I have a feeling he's cheating. Yes, I know I don't care that much, but Ooh. I'm here at the same time as I want him to realize because a lot of times I tell him all the time that I'm sick and tired of you hitting me, emotionally abusing me, doing everything he possibly in the nature he would to me. Why give a guy a like joke. this any 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 opportunity at all for a chance? <laughs> this is a guy that's supposed to love you. This is a guy, you know, when you're the husband, you're supposed to protect your family, right? Right. Not cause uh, horror, horror. Yeah. pain, suffering in your house to the woman that bore you a child. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, my God. It, it, what, what, what the hell, uh, the, after he hogtied you, after eventually, I assume, he let you go? Mm hmm Why didn't you run away and just stay away forever? Because I had to go to the bedroom and shut the door. Okay. You felt you needed to go in the bedroom and shut the no, door? No, I had to go in the bed bedroom and shut the door. Why? He made me. Are you pulling my leg right now? No, sir. You're not screwing around with me? No, this is serious. I'm okay. not playing around. Why are you staying with this man? I do love him. I know it's stupid, but I love him. I never know what the show's about. Right. I find out just like the audience does. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I'm going through the cards and I see that. And then, you know, cheating. And there's a lie detector. And he's here to tell you that he doesn't cheat. And I said, I hope he cheated with 100 women. So that you would definitely say, you know, and I don't know. Let's say... Like, I don't even give a damn about the cheating. I don't care about this lie detector test because the guy admits, confesses on stage in front of everybody to horrible acts against you. So whether he had sex with another woman, I don't give a damn. I don't. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not trying to hurt you. Mm -hmm. But th the first three things on this card would be enough for most women to leave a man. The <laughs> The next eight things on this card would make most women put a man in jail for a long time. But you're here, let's play the game. Yes, sir. What if he is cheating on you? What if he fails his lie detector test? Well, that I am leaving because everybody reaches a point in their life, you know? When is the last time you put your hands on your wife? Last week. About four days ago, to be exact. You want to see what the did? I, I punched you. you Not punched me? I didn't punch you or nothing. Regina, you came out on the show to save your marriage with the lie detector test. You better you can't. Can't. The king's coming with me. The results are that you. I'm going to bring your husband out. And I want you to know that I'm here. Nothing's going to happen to you. Nobody's going to do anything to you. I want you to be comfortable and confident and feel safe and secure to say whatever you want. Okay? Okay. Let's bring him out. You asked me for this, remember? You keep telling me that, that not hit me, but don't leave me no what, what the hell? Why? Yeah. Because you're over here telling me, yeah, you do love me, and yeah, you do want yes, to be I with me. Yes, I do love you. So make up your freaking mind. Do you want to be with me or not? So you just want to be with me because you're sorry for me because of what my family no, did? No, I want to be with you Forget because I love that. you. I want to take care oh, of the do child. you, yes. Richard? Well, every time I tell you to change, oh, no, no, you change first, and I'll think about changing. Well, hold on one second. You keep saying her family treats her bad. Well, there's somebody in your family here that really cares about you, and they didn't know this was going on. Your brother, let's bring him up. Look at me. Look at me. Don't 
Steve Scott. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. You want a hot tire in front of my knees? Yeah, you heard me. Why, Chelsea? Okay, hey, I'm going to say this. Hold on. Hold on. I understand your anger. I understand it. But you're not going to do anything to him here. If you're going to do anything, you're going to do it the right way. When you leave here, you get the authorities involved. You don't put yourself in a position where you can't be there for your sister. You understand? Now, and believe me, I feel the rage too. It's inside me. But I try to control myself. And in a way that you try to control yourself, what would you like to say to your sister's husband? Why do you, why do you don't, hate her? Don't walk any closer. Huh? Okay, look. I used to hate her. You should have asked. He hits me because you I sir. lie. Used to. Used to. There's no, it don't matter. Marriage, you're supposed to love her, not make her feel That's pain. That's what I do. You I made her feel pain. You burned her with cigarettes. <laughs> really? That was before. Before, before, after. I don't know. Who cares? You don't. Do that. If you love me, well, you I don't come do it from anymore. A man doesn't do that. And I told her, I was, I don't want to be like that's so we have to get divorced because I don't want to be that man. You but should have no. done that before you done that. That's what I was going to do. But she no, what you can, what you can do and do is two different things. You keep referring to I used to, I used to, I used to. When is the last time you put your hands on your wife? Last week. About four days ago to be exact. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. No, 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 no. Okay. What did I do? You want to see what he did? I he pushed threw you. He a hand table at me. That's what I did. I pushed you. That's you pushed it. Me? I didn't punch you or nothing. I just pushed how you like did, that. He threw it. Table, how, a chair. How, how I did, didn't throw how, it to you. How did you get that on your leg? You know, here's my couch right here in my living room. There's, you know, the little end tables like that. Not that, but end tables. Right. He picked it up and threw it at me. I mean, she obviously has uh, some serious cuts or bruises on her yeah. leg. What I did, okay, this is what happened. And how long ago was that? Four days ago or five days ago. No, this not week? even that. Say two weeks ago? Oh, not even so that. On, oh, on, that's on, even hold better. Hold on, hold on. So say it was two weeks ago? No, I'm not. Say it was a month ago? Like two, two weeks and a half. Okay, like so you did. So what are we saying? I used to, <laughs> two you. weeks ago, hit my wife? No, no, two I Two weeks no. ago, I used to push no, her? No, What I did, I was, we was funny because she kept telling me that, that, that she... Give me these damn lie detector results. Give it to me. <laughs> Came on the show about cheating, and that's the least of your concerns. It's fighting me, punching me, kicking me, you know, and for you know it, I stabbed him. Oh, you stabbed him in the chest? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times people come here and they want this, they want this, they want this, and this makes everything all right. Sometimes it does. Is this little piece of paper really going to change anything? No. Is this going to make you feel better if he's yes, telling the actually truth? Yes, it would. Okay. Yes, it would. For you, I'm going to It would have closure in my heart. Closure. Okay. Okay. Again, I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't mean a damn to me, but I'll read them for you. Do you go on chat lines to meet other women since you've been with Chelsea? He said, no. Have you ever physically cheated on Chelsea? He answered, no. Are you still in love with Chelsea? He said, yes. He told the truth. Who gives a damn? Yeah, that's right. I, I, I've had enough of you. I mean, the next time I see you, I hope your hands are behind your back and you're tied up. And then nothing. You, you, get the off my stage. Obviously, you didn't know what was going on with your no. sister. You came here today, you found out. What would you like to say to your sister? Chelsea, I love you. You're my baby sister. Just because I live halfway across the country doesn't mean I won't drop what I do and come to you to make sure you're okay. 
Why do you want to stay with that? Why do you want to be unhappy? Can I, can I make this cut and dry? Sure. Can she be with you? Okay, Let's will, go. Will you protect her? Yes. Of will course, you, till the you... day I die. Okay. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Not because you're family, because I'm a man. Men are supposed to protect their women. You know what? Your brother didn't know. You didn't open up to him. You didn't tell him what was going on. So. Your brother showed up. Your brother showed up today. Thanks for being on the show. Sure, thank you. you. Go right up there. Sure. Your brother's here, and he wants to destroy this guy because of what he's doing to his sister. Your brother flew here today because he wants to be here. He wants to protect you. He's giving you an option. Now, as hard as this is for me to do every time, and I take no enjoyment out of it, but I, am, I live in a real world. That's right. The pick a door game. And it's not a game. It's a I matter of. I want both, honestly. You want both? Yeah. You know what? You can't have both. <laughs> you can't have both. Your brother, who loves you, cares about you, been there, who didn't know all this was going on. You might have a little bit of but you didn't tell him everything. Mm -hmm. But your brother came here today and he's willing to help. He's out that door. Family. People that care about you. And out that door, you have a smiling lunatic <laughs> who thinks it's funny when he ties his wife up, who burns her, and says, I used to do that, and then used to turns out to be four or five days ago. You know what? It's like you came on the show about cheating, and that's the least of your concerns. It really is. So I want to help you. I tried to show you what's good and what's bad. But only you are going to do what you want with your life. So you close the show. You can walk out that door. Or you can walk out that door. And you don't have to say anything. Oh, my God. You stop abusing yeah. her? Because she's abusing me now. Burn my face. She hit me with a baseball bat, man. Come on, you, you got me this way. I wouldn't have that. I got you this way. You like that already. Oh. My guest is Regina. Regina, why did you call the show? Well, I'm here for a final attempt on saving my marriage. Final I've, attempt, huh? Yes. I've been with my husband for 21 years, and we've been married for 10, going into 11 years. And at the beginning of the 11 years of marriage, he started accusing me of cheating. You know, it was first it started out as a lot of arguing, and you know, and a rumor surface with a guy that he was working with. You know, so he decided when he go to work, he would go head on and confront the guy about it, and the guy told him that. He was having sex with me, and it's been over five times, so. W were you sleeping with him? No, I wasn't. So this guy just told your husband he was sleeping with you when he wasn't? Yes. Why'd he do that? I don't know. I'm just, I'm guessing just maybe to make himself look good or to get back at him. So for the, most of your marriage, he's accusing you of cheating? Yes. Um, and what, what has that led to? It's led to abuse, you know. Um, when he... The guy told him, he came home, and I was fixing the kids some food, and I, you know, got him quiet, and it's a normal day. And I could tell when he hit the door, you know, something was up, you know, his attitude was different. So he got the kids and took them in the room. I said, okay, well, you know, I can tell, you know, I'm like, he's angry about something. I better get prepared for the fight. So he came in, he told me, he said, um, I, I confronted him. And he told me that he slept with you over five times. And I was like, that ain't never happened, you know. But before I can get a word in, he started just fighting me, punching me, kicking me, you know. He took me, slammed me on the floor. And he um, stood on top of my head, okay. And he weighs about 220 pounds. So um, I was laying, I was hollering and screaming and crying. And, and when he He's, finally he did, was standing he on was top standing. Of your head. And he was squishing his feet around as he was standing on top of my head. I don't know if I've ever like heard this. anybody yes. have that done to him. Yes. But he's standing on your head. On top of my head, and he was fussing and squishing around. And I uh, was crying, and I was screaming, and I was asking him, you know, what he was doing that for was hurting. So he finally did get off of my head, and I was just laying there. And uh, 
you know, I was crying and it was hurting really bad. So I went in the other room and I, I um, laid down there for a couple of hours, you know, and it was hurting. Just laid there. So I said, well, kind of filled around after about wee hours in the morning. It felt kind of bulgy. And I went to the bathroom and looked in the mirror and it was like five times the size that it normally would be. So I woke him up and I told him, I said, I have to go to the hospital. So we left, went to the emergency room. When I got there, they asked me what had happened. And I said, well, when I was getting out the tub, I slipped and I, you know, slammed my head on the face bowl. So, you know, they was like, okay, well, um, we're going to take you in the back and get a good look at it. And they said, well, it's what you call a cauliflower ear, what boxers usually get. And so they would have to take and go in and cut the ear and put a tube in there to drain the blood, because that's why it was in triple its size. Right. It was inflated with the blood. So they drained the blood, and, you know, they released me. On the way home, he was like, I'm sorry. I won't do that again. You know, I'm not going to believe anybody over you. I love you. So, you know, quite natural. I, I say, you know, things was good for a couple months. But, you know, we back at it again, the fighting, and it got a little bit more intense. It was more regular, you know. And it was over the same guy or yes. different guys? Yes, it was over the same guy and, and other people then. After that guy, he started well, accusing saying, me right. of other people then, you know. Right, so he started accusing of, And um, have you ever cheated on your husband? No, I haven't. Never? Never. Uh, and you've been with him for 23 years, married 11. That's right. Um, you took a lie detector test before and you passed? Yes, You I did passed. pass. Mm -hmm. um, and he still didn't believe it? No. Like, didn't. you guys went out. You hired a private investigator, hired the, uh, got a test, mm -hmm. did a lie detector test, you passed it, and he still didn't believe it. No, he didn't. He Why said not? that I paid the guy. That's what we went there for. I paid the guy the money well, to yeah, say that I paid. Yeah, he's not working for free. Yeah, I paid him just to say that I passed oh. the lie detector test. So he thought that you set the whole thing up. Yes, I did. Now, I'm told that you now have started abusing him. Oh, yes. You know, uh, he, he got me trained that way. <laughs> Let's reenact that. So you abuse your husband. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he has um, me just like I was asking you about the weather. Is it sunny today? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> um, how did that start that you started abusing him? Well, like I say, he started back with the fighting and accusing me and... You know, in the year 2007, right before Easter, I was in the kitchen and I was cooking a meal. I was, I think I was sauteing up some seasoning and I don't know what ticked him all, but he just ran and he had me in a corner in the kitchen and he was just kicking and kicking and kicking, you know, and I was hollering asking him to stop. And before you know it, I stabbed him. With the knife? With the saute knife, yeah. With the saute knife. Yeah, and he... This is saute up. knife, isn't it? Double pronged at the end? Well, it might have been a, uh, another. It's just, it was oh. long and skinny. It <laughs> didn't look like it would, you know, do much, but. It stuck in his leg, though, pretty good. Oh, you stabbed him in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Regina, you came out on the show to save your marriage with the lie detector test. You better get the kids coming with me. The results are that you. And when you stabbed him, what did he do? Oh, I, you stabbed me, you know, and he's like, he can't breathe, so. You're like the master of the obvious in this interview. So what did he do? You stabbed me. Yeah, he um, actually backed up, and, you know, I looked, and I immediately ran out the house, and, you know, one of the... Why, were you scared? Yeah, because I realized that I had hurt him. I thought that it might have... You stabbed was just, him. I, I had literally stabbed him, stabbed him, so I ran out of the house, and... One of the family members called the now, police. And what did the police do? Well, I was fleeing the scene and they, you know. Oh, they caught you? Yeah, they. The police chased you they, down? They um, went to the house and then another one, they must have gave a description, so another one came around and scooped me up and brought me back to the scene. And. A uh, female black wearing a chef's <laughs> outfit. They did, they gave a description. <laughs> <laughs> they did, they gave a description. So they, they, they grabbed you and they yes. arrested you? Um, and you stabbed him because he was punching you, right? Yeah, he was kicking me, just all right. kicking. With all this abuse and, you know, 10 years of being accused of cheating, mm -hmm. why did you stay with him? Old fashioned. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You said old fashioned. Yeah, I just take my vows. This is all, you take your vows seriously, yeah, and it. then you stab them. Yeah, well. <laughs> is that is that the old fashioned way? Stab no, them? No, that's not. That's I don't not remember my grandparents way. stabbing each other. Yeah, that's true. That's not um, the way. I mean, when it gets to that, I mean, think of that. You stabbed your husband. I mean, he did a lot of bad things to you, yes, you know, gave you the cauliflower, stood on your head. Yeah. But, like, does that sound like, a, I mean, you guys have six kids together. Yeah. Six kids, they've been together 23 years. Yes. Um, why are you here today? I'm hoping I can resolve it, you know. I'm trying to show him that I love him, you know, I'm willing to. And it, I've been told, once you, you kind of turn the tables of the abuse, yes. and you kick and punch him now. Mm -hmm. stabbing them, throw things at them, yes. um, and you do it because he kind of, you say, trained you to be abusive. That's right. Are your kids witnessing this abuse? You know, my three oldest kids did, but the little ones, you right. know. And that's don't. not good for the kids. It's not. So you're here today because you want to make your marriage work. Yes, I do. And how are we going to do that? I'm hoping, you know, that he can see that did I'm... Did you take a lie detector yes, test? Yes, I did. And he knows we're not on the take. Like, nobody's paying me off to say that That's you're not right. cheating, right? That's right. Okay. Um, well, let's find out. Your husband, Andre's here. Let's bring him out. Okay, don't, don't play swear. it with me, man. Don't swear. Don't swear. Don't do that to me. Yeah. On national TV like that. Yeah. Not on national TV like that. Yeah. Oh, well, if you would have loved me, you the kids coming with me, and that's that. Okay. They gonna come with me, and I mean that. I mean that from okay. the bottom of my heart. If yeah. you fail, they coming I'm with me. Fail it. I'm not worried I'm about not. that. You I fail, fail it's done. I mean that. Whatever you say, I ain't got time for that. I, you, I want the result. I ain't got yeah, time. Oh, I got time for that with you today. Yeah, that's that's right. the problem now. Oh, yeah, but what that's you, you going to do for me? I do whatever you want. Oh, you are? I do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. You owe, me, you, you, you owe me 10 years. Oh, you nothing. You owe me 10 years. You owe me love and respect. Oh, you nothing. Andre. What? How you doing? What? What? How you doing, man? That's messed up on that. I don't I don't believe that joke still, man. I don't believe that. Listen, Andre, Andre. I got too much investment in okay. this. I know, but that's that's kind of the point I was just about to make. <sighs> I see all this anger between the two of you. Um, you know, I, we're I, having a little bit of a laugh, but then it gets really serious. Like, um, and she ain't tell me she burnt my face, huh? She ain't tell you that, huh? No, burnt hot does. water on me, burnt, burnt my face. Burnt my face. Okay, but she's. Man, I, don't, man, no, I, don't, I don't believe this here, man. You don't, I don't believe, believe this what? here. No, well, you don't. With this here, okay, man. listen. She, with this bull, okay, bro. listen. She's here because, and you know, you're here. She came on because she wanted to do a lie detector test to I'm show you, you that she's not been cheating on you. And you know, I'm not on the take, right? She's not giving me any money to sway the results either way. The reason I didn't beat a lie detector test, Steve, is because I didn't see no paperwork. All right. Okay. And at the time, the guy was at and the person was in a, uh, in prison and when, they, when she went over there I'm thinking she paying for him to get out that's what okay. I'm saying so, so I didn't see no paperwork okay. so you'll you'll believe in the one that we administered her today yes okay um so what my point is you just came out here and like man I mean I, I think if there were some knives out here you'd be stabbing each other now <laughs> what it's possible it's possible but it's possible. here you guys have been together 23 years you know married 11 years you have six children together. How could possibly get, how could it get this angry, this violent? You know, here's a woman that gave you six kids. She's been with you for 23 years. Yep. But the problem was, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Steve, I was smoking and drinking back then, okay? That was the problem. Smoking what? Weed okay. and drinking. So you, drinking you were getting high and I drunk. Was. I was, And you got abusive when you yes, were getting intoxicated. I'm gonna admit that I was. Did you stop doing it? Yes. So yes. if you stopped abusing yes. her, Yes. You have stopped abusing yes. her. Because she's abusing me now. I know. She's abusing me now. What? She hit me with a baseball bat, man. Come on here, man. I got no. Yeah, okay. But here's the. It, I deserved it. No, you yeah. know. I deserved it. 
You asked for it. You got me this way. I wasn't I doing got that you this way. You was like that already. Oh, how well, I was. I was quiet. I got you this way. I can't train you to be that way. Yeah, fighting me all the time huh? would make then me. Did you train me to be that way then? No, you, your you got like you don't that time because you want to That's believe why. what somebody else had to say to you whatever, about man, your wife. Whatever, man. I got time for you. Whatever, whatever, man. Whatever, man. You should man. know whatever, me. Man. You know whatever. I wouldn't do whatever. that. You don't pass it out and take the test. I'm okay. through with you. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. And we don't have to worry about that no more. And if she passes it, I've been over back before. I do it whatever she wants. And no more, no, no more, more, no more, no more, no more. And y'all can follow up anytime you want to and call and check on. Do, it, don't it, me, it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Okay. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. So you just said, uh, if you're, the results come back and man. you pass and you go home and it keeps accusing you. Divorce. Divorce. I'm not doing it no more. A piece of paper is going to make you guys stop being mean to each other. Yeah. For me. Okay. That's, that's my proof. All right. That's my proof. That's all I want. <laughs> I knew what all this was about. Right? Okay. Oh, Regina, what? you came on the show because, as you said, this is the last final attempt to save your marriage. It is. Um, and for the sake of those six kids, I, I hope this is whatever it turns out to be you want. And I hope that you really, whatever these results are, if she does pass, that you honestly stick to end your bargain. You said you'll bend over backwards. Hope you won't accuse her of cheating on you anymore. If she passed that test, I'll kiss her feet on national TV, boss. And man. Yeah. About it. And I'll, be, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be at the mouth who right. trained you. You hear and, me? I'll be and, at the mouth who trained you. <laughs> and if he behaves, You'll make the water lukewarm next time you pour it I on. I will. Okay. Agreement. That me out. Okay. <laughs> but seriously, no more, no more. I mean, because you don't want your kids witnessing this, right? No. No, we yeah. raised three with the violence, man. You know, I can admit I was my father time, but God, dog, I ain't doing enough. You don't want it, and you don't want the three kids. And I don't this. want the other three kids. Right. We about to be grandparents, man. We're out here with this here. Well, suddenly that right there should be a joyous occasion. You guys have been together so long that now your kids are having kids. You're going to be grandparents. Knock this nonsense off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Regina, you came on the show to save your marriage with the lie detector test. And you were asked, since you have been married to Andre, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another man? You said no. Since married, have you ever had sexual intercourse with a colleague of your husband's? You answer no. In the past 15 years, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Andre? You answer no. And the results are the same for each one of those questions. And the results are that you told the truth. I'm sorry, baby. I'm telling you that. I love you, here. Yeah? It'll never happen again, okay? I promise you that. With all my heart, okay? Yeah, okay. I mean it, baby. I love you, baby. Thank you, Steve. You know, I really hope, like, we just went from, like, two heavyweight fighters ready to beat the hell out of each other <laughs> to you guys hugging it out. Um, I hope this stays this way. Um, 10 years is a long time to be going back and forth, like, fighting that way. Like you said, you're ready to be a granddad and grandmother. This should be a joyous time in your life. You've been together for so long. You trust her. She does. She take a two lie detector test and pass it for you. What other woman's going to do that for you? That's it. I'm done with it. Okay. I'm done with it. Um, I'm done with not it. only do you have a grandkid on the way, you have a one-year-old baby, right? That's right. The two of you. That's right. So you still, you know, you got a long way to go. No. On both ends. Really? Yes, yeah. We do. We really? So you're going to let us know if he goes back to his foolish ways of accusing you, right? Yes. And because you said if, if you accuse her anymore. Oh, yeah. You're I mean do, it. That's it. You're but done. I do have one thing. Can I get a copy so I can frame it and put it on my wall as a reminder? You can have that copy. Okay, then. You got to rub it in on that in the TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Oh, wait. We're going to give you the copy before yes, you leave. Yes, please do. And uh, we'll get you a nice you friend before you leave. Yes, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you again, Thank man. You. Thank you. Thank you. Stay